Okay, would anyone like to explain to me how, I do mean this in the most gentle way possible, how come All Might isn't dead yet? I, I, I have no idea. It should have been the slam dunk, all things considered. I mean, have you seen him lately? He's been doing more hero work for some reason. Yes. If anything, it seems like... Huh. He's back to normal. What are you talking about, Kodakiri? It's almost as if he's been healed. Nonsense. That shouldn't be possible. If anything, even if his respiratory system was somehow mended, it would not yield such results as it does here. That Nomu should have been able to kill him. But, I, I can't seem to think of a way he could have, well, that's not All Might. What? Think about it. All Might doing more hero work all of a sudden, there's him being able to take on the Nomu, Hmm. Yes. From my calculations, that weakened All Might without help should have been killed by the Nomo. I mean, <laughs> it only stands to reason. Hmm. However, idea that there could be someone else involved in this. Take a look at the way he's gazing upon the students. So what, he's congratulating them for surviving. They are lucky to not die that day. True. But, he's not looking at all of them. He's only looking at one of them. What? The green-haired boy. The one with the strange manifestation quirk and the tattoo on his arm. Uh, yeah, what about it? That boy is the reason why all my is. Being such a thorn in my side all of a sudden. If anything, yes, he should be dead thanks to Nomu. At the very least, in an even worse condition. And I doubt he's given up one for all to anyone at the moment. He won't be so reckless to just burn through it so easily. Hmm. Yeah, has to be something about that boy. I don't know what, but something about him. He's done something. Well, he's healed all might, which should be impossible. Or that could be the pretender. In all my shoes. You truly don't know what the capabilities of this boy is besides his quirk. Looking over the applicants, he is quite skilled at using his quirk, not to mention being a fan of All Might by the way he finished up the practical exam. And from his test scores, he is quite knowledgeable. Yeah. I want to 
and uh, yeah, he could prove useful. What? Find a way to get that boy here. He may be instrumental for my previous uh, plots and help rocket them to much more promising tomorrow. But he's obviously a hero fan. They even call him the fanboy. Yes, that they do. Hmm. At the very least, we should pick up some more information about him. See just how much of a fanboy he really is. As yes, Izuku, he is trying his ass off while he hears a knock on the vault door, in which, yes, is Endeavor. Okay. Hey, what are you doing here? It's on my ear. Uh, yeah, why? Hmm. Maybe I can come back later. <sighs> okay, look. I know you and, his, and all my head is a rivalry thing going on, but you gotta... Dad, why are you talking to my classmate like you're so familiar? Uh, As he turns his head and notices Shoto. Endeavor. What? I told you. Heroes. Yeah, I can allow you guys to come in and do whatever, but no one else. Well, he is an aspiring hero. Dora, what are you doing here? And you know my dad and all my Never. <laughs> you sly ass. That oh boy. You need to curb that attitude of yours. Oh, I can still gun you down right here, right now, if I wanted. But will you? <sighs> okay, okay, fine. So, what do you want? My son needs training. And this place is the perfect training ground for him. That may be true, but we had an agreement, remember? And I don't think we really focused on the whole punishment, did we? What? I can keep you from coming here ever again, if I so wish. But you've been gifted an extraordinary resource that can help heroes the world. But you refuse to use it. Oh no, I'm using it. This is why I allow you heroes. You already... <sighs> yes, there's no. Or if it's an emergency. Then I would consider it. But until that emergency rears his ugly head, no. No one else besides you heroes will be allowed here. 
and why I understood. Fine. Now, now there's the whole thing about what to do with you, Todoroki. What? But you can't obviously be allowed to tell anyone about this. Uh, wait, are you saying as there's a swish in the air and Todoroki falls unconscious and Deborah is freaking out like, what have you done? Izuku's like, don't worry, he's just unconscious. It has a slight... Well, I guess a little bit more than a slight dosage of Devil's Breath. What? Oh yes, it is a very useful concoction. What, what does it do? I can't tell you. But, let's just say he won't remember anything. So, lucky you. Leave and come back alone. Unless you bring in one of the other heroes or so. Bye. Bye. Hurry up, that devil's breath is going to last forever. I. <clears throat> Fine. Never leave me with his tail with his legs, show over his shoulder, and the feet. Zuku freaking out as soon as he notices he's gone, like, oh my god, that was so close. Man, I thought I let, I told him specifically not to bring anyone else here. Let's see, we're heroes. What the hell? This is going to be the death of me. Oh, uh, young Midoriya. Hey, uh, all my. Does something matter? Oh, n no, 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 not all. Ah, good. Oh. So, what percentage do you think I'm at now? Huh. I'm not really sure. I mean, definitely you beat the Nomo with the 500 punches thing. So, I guess now that you have something to help, you know, measure how strong you're getting, who knows, you might be able to go beyond your prime. You really think so? Oh yeah. If anything, heck, can I let you on a little secret? What? See, I have actually enhanced myself to an extent. What? Yeah, you see, I actually came up with this machine that's supposed to stimulate and cause micro tears and fractures to the bones and skin, as well as muscles. Uh, what are you saying? Mm. Okay, uh, Claptrap. Yeah. Can you uh, hand me that concrete slab? Which one? The big one. your mess. Maybe, maybe. We'll, we'll see. We'll play by ear. As this gigantic, thick as concrete wall is pretty much presented in front of you so you all might watch this. As all my looks at this thing, like, what are you planning on doing? He raises up his fist, and it goes straight through 
All Might is shocked at seeing this. That thing is as thick as I am tall. I know. I was able to strengthen my bones, my muscles, as well as my skin. Even my hair would make uh, some uh, very useful weapons. Wait, what? Your hair? If Zuko just puts out three and starts twisting them. And then he presents All Might with a needle made or at least woven from his very hair strands. What? I mean, I, I. What was. Watch this. He's been throwing it and it hits a target. More like. Goes through it. Much to all my surprise, like you have very good aim. I've had a lot of practice. Y you did this to yourself? Well, I didn't miss my genetics, if that's what you're asking. What I did do was make it a lot easier for me to become a hero. So to speak. Though, it's not really much enhancement, more like conditioning, I guess. Yeah, it comes in handy. <sighs> so, you really. Yep. Oh, right. Did you uh, hear anything about uh, that thing? Uh, oh, right. The Nomo. Well. Turns out, it's from a corpse. <laughs> what? Yes. Turns out someone gave a, a reanimated corpse a couple of quirks. Shock absorption, hyper speed regeneration, super strength. Who? Uh, how? Wait, you said give, gave quirks. That, that's not possible. I mean, that would just be. As you looks at All Might with a stern face, you know who's doing it. And as you know who made that thing, don't you? I'm afraid I do. A nemesis of mine, by the name of All for One. <sighs> he has the power to steal and bestow quirks. He's a lot older than he looks. I don't, I don't know how. I mean, yeah, he may have some generation quirks or, or something. Well, I doubt there's a youth quirk out there somewhere, but who knows? Either way. Yeah. Huh. So you're really saying this guy can give and take quirks away? Yes. Ugh. Good thing I, I ran to you guys instead of him. Excuse me. Can you imagine he found this place and possibly try to convince me? Oh dear. Yeah. Hey, forget, forget quirks. He would just. This whole place is a fortress, a, a treasure trove of armor, weapons, you name it. Ways of training quirks that haven't even came to pass yet. Could you imagine? Uh, uh, I, I am doing that as 
as we speak. Yes, we are quite lucky that we uh, ran to you first. Even more so that you choose the side of good instead of evil. Yeah. Good thing I was raised right. So. Any plans besides just trying to get back to your old self? No. None whatsoever. If anything, besides hero work, which thanks to you I can do a lot more of, I do have one more pressing issue. Oh, really? What's that? Who to pass my cork on to, of course. Uh, wait, what? Izuku freaking out as he's like, wait, don't tell me you. Yes, you're awful one. What? Wait, 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 wait. As Izuku calls Clam Chap, he's like, she's, forget Stun, kill him. Clam Chap, if he could smile, he would. As he has turrets, he has snipers, he has even a desert eagle pointed. Trained at all might. As he's about to pull all hold our triggers. Wait, 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 wait. Please wait. What? What is it? That is not what I am trying to tell you. That's not, that's not all what I was trying to tell you, so please don't shoot me. Oh, so what were you trying to say? I had the ability to pass on my quirk. I... <sighs> I am not awful one. I cannot stress that enough. I do not have his quirk. Over one. I have one for all. That is a very confusing name, and please explain more. You see, there were these two brothers. As, yes, Izuku is getting the whole history ahead of time. So, so your quirk came from Nashimura, the her, she got from them. And it all started when Alpha One gave his brother a quirk that builds power over time, which merged with his quirk that he didn't even know he had to pass on a quirk. So, yes. Little through the generations, I'm the eighth user. I'm looking for the ninth. And considering, yeah, well, what? Off of one may still be in large, despite the beating I gave him. Yeah, I might need to start looking for my successor. Oh, well, uh, good, good luck with that. I want you to be my successor. What? Yes. I want to give my quirk to you. But, but why? Why? Why me? Listen, kid. I wouldn't be who I am right now if it wasn't for you. I would still be barely able to look like this for extended periods of time. It wasn't for the sheer fact that we were suspicious of you being a spy. Oh. oh okay. So, okay, that explains why. Oh, oh, wait. It, it's not that we didn't. No, you, no, just, just be honest with me. You, you, you didn't trust me. My quirk, voice, like 
classified as a quirk, seemed too fishy, and you and the other heroes just didn't want to take any risks. It's fine. Uh, my feelings aren't hurt. It's just because my favorite hero thought I was a villain or helping the villains. I am sorry, but it's it's complicated. We he's been around for a long time. I have no idea how many people he does have uh, worked for. So please forgive the fact that we thought you might have been sent to UA to spy on us or betray us. I mean, ever since we met you, we definitely would consider you a traitor. But there is a traitor. What? Yeah, funny thing. It sh shouldn't have been so easy for the villains to get to USJ. Let alone know that I was going to be there. What do you mean? Someone had to tip them off. We don't know who, but yeah. You as a traitor. Do you have any guesses of who that could be? Huh. Uh, no, not really. I mean, all the teachers seem to be on the up and up. Wait, what about a student? Hmm? A student? Uh, wait, you honestly think a student could have... Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, all things considered, you don't do much when it comes to background checks on... The students, do you? Hmm. No, not, not in particular, I don't think. Why? Well, there you go. You might need to start looking further into the backgrounds of your students. Who knows? Someone might be vengeful, someone one who you didn't have time for, someone who you failed to save, maybe? Or, or he's possibly holding a grudge, or... Hmm, considering this... Awful one person, or at least the way you made it sound like, he's... Seems like he's very charismatic. Hmm. Yeah. You could say that. So, chances are... Whoever he might be using as a pawn is desperate. Trying to make sure that uh, they're useful in some sort of way. But not so the fact that they could be uh, considered a threat towards him. Someone who would blend in to the crowd. Hmm. Make a good point. Huh. Well, I mean, when you think about it, it could, you could obviously just thought of a teacher. I mean, it seems like common sense to at least suspect a teacher, but it seems like it would be too easy, doesn't it? Hmm. Make a good point. I mean, there's so many students. So, heck, way more than the teachers. And all you have to do is we pass the test and the interest is on to be, you know, admitted to the school. There are countless other students that could have possibly slipped in. 
we have no idea how many of them could be spies. That's for sure. Hmm. You've given me a lot to think about here, Midoriya. That I want to thank you. No problem. Uh, thank you for coming by, All Might. As yes, All Might leaves. Izuku, he's like, wow, could there really be a traitor? It's crazy to just think about. Let alone who it might be. Could be anyone from the school of night, even counting the students in class 1A. Whew. Oh well. I might be overthinking it, but at least as yeah. Zugu, he's training right now. He's trying his best to think of other ways he could possibly, and I didn't mean possibly, prepare for a sports festival. This is about time when he does actually talk about bringing in someone new to help him with his creations. <sighs> that girl looking for scrap metal. Yep. Are you sure? Uh, he kind of, sort of. I'm not. I'm not really sure. <sighs> hmm. Well, I guess. Yes. Actually, yes. Yes. That that could actually work. Really? Of course. If you do end up finding someone who can be a good mechanic, or he's fix up a thing or two, who knows? He might actually be able to build a spaceship off this planet. Huh? Oh, yes. I mean, you don't want to just constantly travel through the world via the vault. I mean, though yes, it, it is convenient. Yep. If anything, you ever know how two vaults will react to each other? What? Oh, wait. Weren't you considering Checking out any of the other vaults? Huh? Other vaults? There are more? Uh, I could have sworn I've told you about this. No? Wait, maybe, but... Really? How many? Oh, it's hard to say. But definitely enough to keep you busy. Wow, okay. That's crazy. So, wait. You're okay with me? Yes. Well, you do plan on returning. I mean, going to. And collecting more vaults is not the worst idea. Especially when there are dangerous people out there who could fight them first. If anything, I could actually help you when it comes to locating them. Really? Ah, yes. They can prove very helpful in a matter of speaking. Like like what? How? Simple. Say you uh, 
needed to find one. You have a locator for the rest of the vaults? Mm, yes and no, actually. When it comes to locating them, there is a way to be specific. Whether it works would be entirely up to huh, luck, I suppose. If not, tell me, how? You see, these uh, vaults, like myself, emit a certain kind of energy in which vault keys are in tune to. We could possibly use the vault key of this one to ping for other vault keys, if not other vaults. Wait, couldn't I just use this key? Hmm. On some of them, not all of them. There are some that will be more resilient to a certain key, depending on how. Hmm. You could say dangerous or versatile contents of the vault is if they want a specific key to open them. But with certain vaults you can definitely use this key again. However you would have to lock this one down in which no one else will be able to use this vault not like they could anyway. Really? Oh yes. Uh, could you make this kind of vault sonar thing anytime soon? Yes. Due to the nature of this vault, I could craft one very easily. It's great. But wait, you said that, uh, Scrap metal girl could be helpful for making a spaceship. Why don't we just fabricate one now? Hmm. Because I didn't see that you were ready for it. And though, yes, we could make one, though. Hmm. Space can be complicated and dangerous, unpredictable. Don't you think it would be helpful to have a skilled mechanic or engineer in case something breaks? That way you won't be stranded on planet for God knows how long. But can you just teleport? Well, <sighs> Though, yes, I can change the position in which I am in, it would be not so reliable. I mean, the to, to get here was pretty much a guess. It was just really thought, just shooting in the dark. Wow. Yeah. Indeed. That's that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Wait, did you just yawn? Oh yeah, I I suppose I did. I thought you didn't get tired, you're well, I am utilizing a lot of energy. Oh, does that mean you need to recharge or Hmm. It depends on what's still being fabricated. Oh, so that's what's burning up. Correct. These rooms. 
whenever they're in use and or being created, the loan, the contents, it can put a little strain on the old battery. In which, yes, the fuel source can replenish itself as long as you, you don't overuse the facilities. In which you've never done, at least not until those heroes have found out your secret. All oh, right. Yes. I am so sorry, no need. It was only a matter of time before someone found out about us. Or at least, it's people you can trust. But that endeavor, however, he seems to be very... What's the word? Dumbass. Oh, clap Hey, am I wrong? Uh, well... I, I won't call him a dumbass. He's just selfish. Well, I guess. I mean, he's definitely training his son. Did you know? Have you done any research on this asshole? Huh? Have you done any research about him? Or do you just go gaga over a hero? Uh, I, I, I... He abused his family. His wife was in a psychiatric hospital because she burned and scarred her son by accident, thinking, snapping after so many years of abuse, seeing her husband's eyes through her son. Do you know how terrible the trauma has to be for that to happen? Yeah, oh god, seriously, he needs to grow up and stop being such a fanboy. Oh, I, I'm sorry? And you apologize too damn much. Ugh, at least grow up here and keep it. I mean, some of them just shrink and fly away or turn to dust or whatever the hell you do. Whatever, you're not putting on the tough guy routine. Uh, uh, did I really do that? You know what, it's not really my place. Yes, you do. changed after all these months of training. Oh no, you have. <sighs> if anything, you have more confidence, definitely. You just need to keep it. Here, see, you finally grew some balls, but there's a halt and they're gone. Seriously. I mean, you have one of the most powerful vaults out there so far. I mean, yes, it can't support an ecosystem or anything like that. It can't create water. I mean, there is this one vault in particular that can... Wait, what? Oh, yes, I downloaded some, some uh, information about some other vaults through archives. Don't, no need to. I'm actually curious. Who oh, knew? No. What have I done? I'll tell you. You have awakened the curious nerd. Yeah, and I don't want to be a part of that. So, if you don't mind, I am out. As yes, Izuku is spending the rest of the two weeks on the god looking for May, but also learning more about potential vaults that he might want to find. 
as well as put under his, you know, control. All I have to do is hope that no one else found them first, let alone the vault keys that unlock them. <laughs> Hmm, what well, seems to be a problem? I still can't find this woman. Oh. Well, please, you should rest. You can find your woman some other time. You do have the sports festival to think about. <laughs> what makes you think she's my woman? Oh, you're right. Uh, uh, my apologies. Thank you. You have to woo her first, correct? I, I uh, uh, I, wait, why would I have to woo her? Oh, so you are not seeking her out as a potential, what, no, no! spaceship, remember, vaults, oh, keys, you remember that? Oh. Oh, yes. But are you sure that's all you want? Uh, huh? I mean, yes, these vaults are incredible technology, but there's more to life than just finding them. What if you want to settle down or start a family? I... Uh... And they were really like, of course not. But luckily, we are here to support you. If you can end up finding her some way, somehow, you can bring her here, of course. Just make sure she's trustworthy. Oh, okay. Cool. Uh, man, this is just kind of awkward. No, it's not. It's only so if you make it in that way. Good point. Very good point. As now is a sports festival. When it comes to Izuku in the race, he gets first place. The cavalry battle, this is when May does show up to want to be on his team because, you know, he's on the spotlight and she wants to soak in some of it for her babies. When she starts broadcasting or at least showing off her gadgets, Izuku is all the more adamant in trying to get her to help him in certain ways. In which, yeah, his team's gonna be the same. The <laughs> overall gonna be the same. Okay. Do I need. Do you two need some privacy or some? Huh? Oh, no, it's just, uh, uh, I like her babies. Really? Yeah. Huh, well, nice to meet you, stranger. Wait, what? Yeah, nice to meet you. Isn't that what you usually say when you meet someone for the first time? We have met before. Really? Hmm. Oh, well. Well, nice to meet you again. <sighs> okay. Meet me after the sports festival is done, okay? Sure, sure, I guess. Mm, sure, why not? I wish my customer was sorry with Shinzo. He's learned discipline when it comes to keeping his damn mouth shut. So that doesn't work. He does feel sorry for Shinzo because he did where he gets to showcase his quirk. But Shinzo did get him back when he tried to apologize by making him use his quirk on himself and smacked Izuku almost out of the arena. And when it comes to him versus Shoto, he is a bit hesitant to go all out because it's like, you know. I don't need to jog his memory of anything that happened. Because if he learns about the vault, then he's going to want to find it again and all this. And he looks at Endeavor. 
he's pissed, but not to the same extent as he would be if Show was losing. Finish him. It's pretty much in Endeavor's eyes, looking at Izuku. Like, don't you dare hold back on my son. As yes, Izuku does win this when he's up against Ida. He does consider the fact that I like you. I, I want to be your friend at least, so I'm gonna make this as quick as possible. <sighs> okay, <clears throat> let's do it. You really think that less of me? Huh? You you don't think I'm worth it? What are you talking about? Is Ida already starts off with his reciprocal burst? One thing is Izuku was counting on this, as he just puts out his leg and he trips. Outbounds and he is embarrassed as all hell. When it comes to Zuku versus Bakugo, Bakugo knows he has to outthink and outmaneuver Izuku. So when it comes to him using his quirk, he actually doesn't get beside or right behind him. One thing is, Izuku embells himself in pure energy in the shape of All Might. Everyone is amazed at this. All Might, on the other hand, is embarrassed. It's like, I can't believe he's doing this again. As you can just imagine, Bakugo, he's like, are you serious? As Izuku just lifts up his fist and like, I am here. And Bakugo is punched out of bounds. Izuku gets first place, Bakugo second. Ida, eh, third. The only thing is, he doesn't show up for his reward because he does get the bad, terrible news. One thing is, when Aizawa hears about it, he's going, says he might not ever walk again. As, yeah, he looks to Izuku's. Uh, or will he? You gotta be you, you, you serious. Hey, he's a hero. Yeah. He is, huh? And he's uh, the family of your classmate. Why not help him out? <sighs> yeah, you, you, you're really doing this. Hmm? Just saying. Uh, very well. Bring him. We'll get him fixed up. Which, as soon as Tensei does wake up in the vault, he's freaked out. He's like, wait, this is not my hospital room. Where am I? Seeing Izuku with all the other heroes. Bro, wait, you're the Midoriya kid. Yep. And this is my vault. What? Let me explain some things. And we're giving a brief note explanation that oh so you fixed me. Yes. Yes I had. Yes I did. Yes I did. <sighs> well I, I don't know what to say. Uh, thank you. As then Izuku gets a perimeter <laughs> Or seeing that maze there, it's like, oh shit, you guys gotta go. Wait, what? What? Why? Okay, Ingenium, you can walk. Well, you can do more than walk. You can run now. So get to stepping. Uh, wait, wait, what's going on? Uh, I have a guest coming over. This is a girl. All oh, my just having a smirk on his face. That is none of your business. <laughs> okay. Okay, whatever you say, young Midoriya. Oh, all the other heroes, especially men, I just start snickering and just laughing. Endeavor is probably like, 
Let's just get out of here, please. Why are you so upset? You saw Toroki use his fire. Yes, but he's still lost. He's trained more. <sighs> you know what? You never try this. I was there trying to live through your kids or have them fulfill your dreams. How about you do it? What? Why don't you be the number one hero? Instead of hoping that one of your spawn do it for you. I, as yes, this is very much when a, you have the audacity. Yes, believe me. I've been working on, on a little something for all of you. What? Nothing. As everyone leaves. Endeavor still salty. You're gonna pay for that. That's my comment. So, I'm sure I will. And which, as soon as May enters the vault, she's like, "What? Did you build all this?" Like, no. But I think it was a lucky find. But there is something I definitely would like your help with. Uh. Okay, sure. Well, um, what is it? As soon as he talks about spaceships, space travel, and other vaults such as this one, she goes completely batshit crazy. Thinking about all the possibilities, all the babies she can make, the fact that she can make them different but still do the same functions and not explode. But when he asks her if She'll join him, so to speak, and all that. Mmm, no thanks. What? Don't get me wrong, it sounds great and all, but eh, not really my thing, you know? Wait, so you, you don't want to work here? Oh, it's, it's not that, it's just... Huh. I, I don't want everything fabricated for me when it always being perfect. What do you mean? You say, you're saying all I have to do is study about being a rocket and everything. Well, the, this whole place builds it? Y yeah, isn't that a good thing? Well... Yes and no. On one hand, yeah. It's easy. I mean, all I gotta do is know how to work everything. But, there's a... It's different. I feel like it's better if I build it with my own two hands. Hey, with this, my quirk has use. You know? Oh. Oh, oh, okay, I understand. Wait. What is it? Okay. So, what if, just hear me out, all the place fabricates is what you require? What? Like, perfect measurements and everything like that, but you do the actual building, planning, you know, the blueprints and everything. Did uh, within the outwork? Huh. You know what? I like the way you think. So, is that a deal? Him out stretching his hand? Maybe just, uh... Okay, we got a deal. Uh, what? Did you want a high five? No. Oh. Oh well. But yeah, let's get started. Let's make some babies together. <laughs> what? Yeah. Gadgets, you know, everything. Oh, oh, that's what you meant. Yeah, what do you think I meant? 